There are millions of lakes and ponds in the world, and we all know some of the bigger animals that live here, like fish, frogs and ducks. But in the dark water amongst the beautiful water lilies and tadpoles hides an enormous amount of incredibly small animals and microscopic organisms. So if you look a bit closer, you will discover an entirely different world beneath the surface. The fish here have to eat from time to time, and a nice wiggly worm like this one could very well be on the menu. This worm is known as a black worm and is a relative of the earthworm most of us know from land. However, this one is much, much smaller. Black worms only reach a thickness of 1 to 2 millimeters, but can grow to an impressive length of 10 centimeters. Black worms usually live on the bottom of lakes and ponds, where they feed on decaying plant material and different microorganisms. Inside the worm we can clearly see the digestive tract and the peristaltic movement squeezing the contents from one end to the other, just like in our intestines. Worms like these are essentially a tube of muscle. And if we use a special kind of light called polarized light to illuminate the worm like here, we can get these muscle layers to change color depending on their orientation in the light. Even though this might look a bit like science fiction, the worm is capable of a little trick that sounds like something straight out of a horror movie. Most of the time when black worms reproduce, they spontaneously divide into two fragments. One of them regrows a new head and the other one a new tail, leaving two genetically identical clones. These worms are so big that you are able to spot them with the unaided eye if you investigate a water sample from a pond. But the next animals are so small that they are impossible to see without a microscope. This alien looking creature is a rotifer, more commonly known as a wheel animal. Wheel animals are some of the smallest animals in the entire world with some of the smallest being around 50 microns in size. The reason why they are known as wheel animals is due to the presence of tiny moving hair-like projections on their heads resembling turning wheels. However, the hairs which are called cilia doesn't turn at all but beat synchronized with each other in a wave-like fashion. The animal uses its beating cilia to create a current used for moving and feeding. Here we can see the cilia filmed in slow motion, which gives us a better idea of how they work. This female rotifer was so kind to gracefully spin around for us, allowing us to observe the animal in 3D. This gives us a clear view of the eggs she is carrying, which will be ready to hatch in just a few days. Wheel animals can have several eyes, but nothing like our eyes. Their eyes are very simple and not much more than a collection of light sensitive cells. This means that the animal doesn't see that great, but is capable of sensing light direction and intensity. This rotifer is not a big fan of swimming and have built a nice tube on a piece of vegetation that it lifts in for protection. Another common organism in lakes and ponds that uses cilia to feed and move are stensors like these. It isn't hard to imagine why these are known as trumpet animalcules. But despite the name, this is not a real animal but only a single cell. Stentors are some of the biggest single-celled organisms on the planet. 
the largest ones can reach 2 mm in size, which means that they can be larger than some animals with more than a thousand cells, like rotifers and tardigrades. However, these ones are a bit smaller and not visible without a microscope. Stentors can be whitish in color as these, but are also found in many other colors like pink, blue, brown and green, like this one. The green color comes from algae living in the outermost part of the cell. But despite sounding like an invasive parasite, the algae and the stenta have a symbiotic relationship and benefit from each other's company. The algae are protected inside the larger cell, and in return they produce oxygen and nutrients for the stenta. There are of course also many other kinds of algae than those living inside other organisms, but far from all of them are green. These beautiful microscopic tumbleweeds are colonies of a golden algae called Cynura. Each colony is only about 25 microns in size, which is about the same as a quarter of the thickness of a human hair. These colonies are present in many freshwater habitats around the world, where they can be found in relatively small numbers. But in spring and fall when the water is cold, massive blooms of the Sonora colonies can occur like here. If a bloom is especially large, the water can acquire a brownish color and a fishy smell due to waste products from the algae's metabolism. Each cell in the colonies are equipped with two whip-like structures called flagella, allowing Sonora to move gracefully through the water. Together with an incredibly primitive form of an eye in each cell, the whole colony is able to move according to light to find the optimal place for photosynthesis. If you would like to see more of the micro world, please consider subscribing. You can also find my microscopic world on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and TikTok. And I will leave links to all of those in the description below. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or ideas to what you want to see under the microscope next. Thank you for watching.